World of Dentistry. Dental Solutions for Your Dental Needs. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Have you ever looked in the mirror and seen bumps on the back of your tongue? Don't panic. We're here today to talk about what those lumps could be, why they appear, and what you can do about them. Let's take a tour, not only of the anatomy of your tongue, but also of how to treat those lumps if they turn out to be more than just a temporary annoyance. The tongue is not simply a flat muscle. It is a landscape full of small mountains, valleys, and of course, the famous papillae. These small lumps have their specific functions, such as allowing us to enjoy a delicious pizza or a refreshing dish of ice cream. Papillae can be of several types. Filiform papillae, they are like the army of the tongue, abundant but not very specialized in flavors. Fungiform papillae, these are the satites of the lingual forest located near the tip of the tongue. And yes, they capture flavors. Foliate papillae, these papillae are the small leaves on the sides of the tongue goblet or circumvallate papillae. Here we have the large and powerful papillae on the back of the tongue, forming a kind of V. So the next time you enjoy your favorite food, remember that it is the teamwork of these four types of taste buds that makes everything come to life. What are those bumps on the back of the tongue? Those bumps on the back of your tongue can vary in size, shape, and color, and may or may not cause discomfort. If they are swollen and pink but do not hurt, they are most likely enlarged papillae, specifically goblet or circumvallate papillae. Most likely they are just making a bit of drama and will go away over time. In most cases, they are harmless and go away on their own. It's pretty normal, so don't panic just yet. However, if you are concerned or if these bumps persist, it is best to consult a healthcare professional. What if the lumps hurt? If the bumps on the back of the tongue are painful, it may be lingual papillitis. Wow, right? Lingual papillitis is basically the inflammation of these papillae, like balloons at a birthday party. This can cause a range of symptoms, from pain to alterations in taste perception and a red or yellowish color on the tongue. Symptoms can range from tenderness and pain, especially when eating hot foods, alteration of the sense of taste, burning sensation, reddish or yellowish appearance. If you experience any of these symptoms, it would be wise to consult your doctor. Causes of lingual papillitis. What causes it? Why do papillae become inflamed? Here is a brief summary. Gastroesophageal reflux. That's heartburn to you and me. Viral or bacterial infections. For example, cold sores or strep throat. Allergies. Yes, they can also affect the tongue. Poor dental hygiene. Keep your toothbrush handy. Spicy or acidic foods. As much as we like them, they can be the culprit. And the list goes on. So while that extra spicy taco may have been worth it at the time, it may come back to haunt your taste buds later. When to worry? No one likes to hear the word cancer, but it needs to be said. If you notice a lump or swelling on your tongue that doesn't go away for several days, even weeks, it's a good idea to see a doctor. This could be a sign of tongue cancer, although it is rare. The important thing is not to assume the worst but to take steps to rule it out. National Cancer Institute. How to relieve pain and discomfort. Home remedies. If the situation is not serious, here are some home ideas to soothe those painful lumps. Ice, ice, baby. Cold acts as an anesthetic. Topical anesthetics. Many over-the-counter products can help. Rinses with warm water and salt. A classic that never fails. Chamomile tea. Known for its anti-inflammatory properties. It is important to note that these are temporary remedies, and if symptoms persist, you should consult a doctor. In more serious cases, your doctor may prescribe specific medications or even mouthwashes to treat the inflammation. Treatments generally focus on combating the underlying cause of the inflammation. If it's caused by an infection, for example, you'll likely be prescribed antibiotics, per the American Dental Association. Lumps on your tongue may be alarming at first. But now that you know what they could be, you can breathe easier. Whether you need a home remedy to relieve the discomfort or a visit to the doctor to rule out more serious problems, the important thing is to be informed. I hope this video has been useful to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more interesting and healthy content.